evening, good evening, good evening. Going another late stream tonight. Gonna play a bit of a. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes, test, test. Yeah, cool. Gonna play a little bit more of Watch Dogs because I'm pretty sure I'm near the end. Oh. God, I've just had one of those days where you just don't wake up. So I think I'm like literally five minutes away from finishing this game. Um, because there's a thing on PlayStation 5 that I noticed yesterday where it will say, um, like side missions, you've got two hours left, or main story, five minutes left. And it said I've got five minutes left. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. So. Let's have a look. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, those sources within. Uh, yeah, what I was saying was, um, I think, um, if there's five minutes left in the main missions, let's see if I've got any side things I can do. More tech points to get a hold of. I don't want to risk losing Brandon, though. I don't want to. I don't want to have to start off with someone brand the new. The organization claimed that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Innocence. So yeah, this may be a very short stream, minimum an hour, I'd say, yeah. Got work tomorrow, so I can't take the piss, but I don't want to just do like a 20 minute stream just to finish this game, so let's do some side stuff. again. way up through it here. Didn't see one last time. But I can hear. Oh, hang on, where the f Before I go down, let's just see, where is the way up normally? Okay, 
So there's a way up. Okay. Nice to know. Now, anyway. <clears throat> Reverse. Why don't you re reverse, damn it? Oh. Uh. Oh, something better. Sharper turning. Yes. Sounds terrible. That's the target. Should be hackable. Hey, Tanda. How are you doing? How's your day been? Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. Oh, sharp turn. Auto drive now disabled. Sorry, Bruce Lee. Was it Lee? No. Oh no, it's not a jumpsuit. Is it? Cannot tell. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now dis. <sighs> you know what?
I'm doing alright, happy it's the weekend. Oh yeah, it's the weekend now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm working, I'm working it. But yeah, I'm okay. I've had one of those days where I've just felt like I've not woken up at all. Um, I'm feeling really like... Um, I've just got back in from being out in London, seeing a very lovely person. And... Uh, Looking to hack your devices. Thank you, pardon, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just get I'd get Watch Dogs finished this evening because apparently I'm very close to the end. So we shall see. But I'm just doing some side stuff just to fill in some time. Jesus, the place is right here. Damn, that riot drone's causing havoc. Okay, so how does one... Let's hope you just relax this weekend. Oh, fingers crossed for you. Kick back and chill. The weather's meant to be nice as well, hopefully. So, uh. It'd be good to go, out and go into the garden. I need to mow my lawn at some point. did a lot of damage for me. Oh shit. Located the CTOS hub.
Oh, please don't die. And he's fine. Come on, where's my map? Oh, I'm giving my map again. I'm Andy, this is Alison today. We're going to be pretending that everything is fine. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, that's <sighs> the glitches on this game. Sounds nice. Pass. A reality time now, however. I can pause, and, uh, but we'll it won't let me bring up my map. Road test the latest update to oh, the no. app, the government app that has brought the great British tradition of snitching on I can't even bring up my uh, missions page. It's wonderful. It's glitched. Let's quit. Start again. Oh, I'm the same panda. I'm just starting the new job and everything. I'm just getting used to like COVID policy and now it's going to change. But oh, I think in all honesty, I'm hoping my, my new job will just keep their COVID policy in in terms of like, because because we're a trading company, people trade in stuff. Certain items like headphones, we have to quarantine for a couple of days because they've been, you know, sweating, things like that. Um, I hope that sort of stuff stays in, in force for a little while. Okay, there we go. <coughs> yeah, damn glitches. Glitches get stitches. Listen, listen. Yeah. There's got a whole new lease of life these days, thanks to uh, CSA. And isn't Britain all the more fun because of it? No more grumbling about your neighbours playing their music too loud. Just simply report them to the state. Happen, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's just the government kind of like washing their, their hands of any responsibility from now on. It's like, oh, we've tried doing it for a year and a half and we've completely fucked it up. So now if it, if it fucks up even more, it's on your head. And he knows the case numbers are going to rise. Because, well, World Cup. We've had, we're going to have three very large gatherings of people same place um, yeah I just think it's, it's gonna be a mess winter's gonna be a maybe a tough one it'll be better than last year because we have a lot more people will be double vaccinated but more people will be vaccinated but at the same time like not enough people have been vaccinated far many far much more Okay.
Oh, come on. Come on, Brandon. Stop rolling and climb. Are you telling me you can't do that climb, mate? Come on. Okay. Um... Gotta climb up there. Right. Watch yourself. <clears throat> I just need to find ah, you'll do. Is that literally it? That was... Kind of shit. <laughs> Where's this other one? It was over here. We'll do this one, and then we'll go... To safe house. Oh, there's my car. Shaun of the Dead, 2323, ouch, thank you very much for the follow. I love the name by the way. Love that film. My cousin used to actually drink at the wheel, uh, the, the wheel? The real Winchester pub. It's not the one in the film, the one in the film I think is the Royal Vauxhall Tavern. Which is in like uh, South London. Right, this is the base. It was him. It was the drone shooting them. 
Vauxhall, a place you've really been likewise. Been through it on the train plenty of times, if I've been heading down to Clapham for work and stuff. But yeah. The CTOS up there. Same panda. Thing is, though, the city is London is a very, very dense city. Like, because it's just all—it's so packed in. There's so much to see in such what is, for what is relatively a small land space, it's so dense and packed in. And it's such a maze as well of winding streets. It's not like Manhattan Island, which is a grid system. Right. That's a good enough warm up. Let's finish this. Just coming to six o'clock in the morning, it's a good time to interrogate someone. Shed one ping. I kept. Also very unique from each other. Yes, yeah. Like Brix Brixton has a, is Brixton and Brick Lane, very similar in ways, but very distinct at the same time. Okay, before I do here, I'm just gonna see what I can. See how this jacket looks in the cutscene. We know you're behind the embassy bombings and the earlier ones too. So never mind the bollocks and start yapping. The earlier bombings? What are you? Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power and fast. But you already knew about Zero Day. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. The but fuck? if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Of course we have. But that doesn't change what you've done. Enough to let you rot in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. 
These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. So maybe it's not the end then. Lucky now. Yeah, the actor does a good job in Albion chapter again. Okay. He does a good job in making you being the slimy villain. Okay. You'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. That is a point. Oh, Nigel Cass did shoot someone in front of a board member. I wouldn't a board member. What's good, Chief? And he still hasn't got his I'm sorry for not yet. being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik. Just a former Sirs agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. Let's hear it. And when you've got a moment, give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? Are you the police or not? We are, and I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS, and seeing as they've taken 1984 letters of dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Hang on, so let's look at these missions again. Okay, that's the... Side mission. I think as well, Panda, when you say, is it bad that you want to shoot him? Not only does the actor do a good job in be making himself sound like such a slimy piece of work, but he also looks like Rishi Sunak. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was close. Ah, yes, it all makes sense. <laughs> Looks like how Rishi Sunak will probably look in about 20 years when the jobs really got to him. He's still he's still quite bright-eyed and enthusiastic right now in his face, but wait until those age lines and those grey hairs start coming in. I think it's unfortunate to say he's probably gonna be Prime Minister one day. This is the place. Where's our 
And again, nothing could be as worse as Boris. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Pity you can't do the same, Bagley. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up your telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aimed fire! Aimed fire! Liar! You fucking liar! You're going to kill us all! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat. Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Some of those voices don't match. Jesus <laughs> fucking fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. It's well dodgy, mate. We just witnessed a bit of theatre. Think we should check out the stage. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. <clears throat> Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Easy. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked, but, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Clever bastards. Get rid of any evidence that they had something to do with this. Dodgy, eh? Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Better than a Swiss army knife, aren't you, Bagley? There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Check the All right. Time to get to work. of the incident to view the reconstruction. Down. Uh, 
suggest you all return to your home. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. So, the Tosser has access to professional equipment. Not much of a lead there. Let's see what comes up. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. <sighs> Cass didn't plan this. Well, that's much more surprising than someone wanting him dead. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the plates on the truck, too. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cast did something to seriously piss this bloke off. If even Albion's own employees are turning against Cass, that's definitely an angle we can play. But we'll need to get a good look at the truck first. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. The Tone site? Well, isn't that interesting? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. True. I'm trying to remember where the tone site was. I think it might be this. I'm at the tone site. Are we sure the lorry from the Finsbury attack is in here? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. Let's see what comes up.
Come on. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need to spread. I ain't got time for this. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. Oh, right. Crisped up like a rasher. This might be him. Poor bugger. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Nothing you can't crack, right? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. So this is just Albion's convenience graveyard. Lovely. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Bagley, do your thing. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them justice. Auto drive now enabled. Drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead. But he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and... You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Fucking hell. 
Femis drones up in the sky, waiting for the upgrade that'll order them to shoot. I've always said not to trust these damn machines. This is how mankind falls. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Bagley, what went through your mind for you to make a copy of the Themis data? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's get this over with. Where to next, then? Let's roll. Auto drive now disabled. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well, first things first, let's just get hidden somewhere outside. Burn down, that's what I told you, yeah. Find this fucker. The longer you draw it out, the worse it will get. Come out. 
We know you're there. Shit! They're gone! Call command! Going in loud then. You Albion peak dogs. Check your doors and corners. That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Lovely view from here. Finally! I'm reading incoming drones. Finish drones. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work.
this, fam. No coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Let's get out of here. to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Can't go about it the wrong way. Auto -drive Cass now has all the support he needs. An arsenal of drones, mercs, a herd of sheep hanging onto his lips. He'll take us down in a heartbeat if we confront him head on. He's been selling us as terrorists, and that's how we'll be seen. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Auto drive now. As far as travel this... half eleven. I really should go to bed soon. God damn it, I thought I had like five. Hang on. Let me just. 75%. Okay, so maybe, maybe it was five minutes left on the mission that I had left. Let's have this briefing and see what's happening. If it sounds like it's going to be a few more missions, then I may call it a night here and come back to this tomorrow evening. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal. But now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. What a tosser. Cass plays tough when he has an army behind him, but give him a little slap and you got him on his knees crying. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us had an idea about that. Bagley, show him. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Hmm, I agree, Panda. Sounds like it could be a long one, because we've got to get the evidence, and then there's obviously going to be some sort of big final Claire Waters appears point. to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Plus, I've got that side mission to do. And a lot of recruiting missions that I could do. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? She'd be unstoppable with dead sick backing her up. Could even be our voice. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Yeah. We'll leave the safe house. It's only been an hour and 12 minutes, but I wasn't even intending to stream tonight. But, screw it. So, 
I thought this game was ending. It's still not ending. <laughs> story, the story, the story uh, pacing in this game is really weird. Like you've got all these different chapters, and it comes like because I haven't dealt, I haven't dealt with Nigel Cass and Albion for ages. I thought that was done with, and then suddenly, boom, back up again. But yeah, I agree. It's a very, it's a reasonably sized game. It's like. It's definitely matching at least Watchdog Watchdogs One in terms of story longevity, and it has more more fun gameplay elements, and it's a bit more upbeat and cheery, and you know, darkly humoured with Bagley. So I'm I'm liking it. I just wish it was slight. They need some patch updates. Get sort out these glitches and things. That's all they need, really. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night there, though. Gotta be up early. Well, not early, but I gotta be up tomorrow. And it's a weekend, so you know it's gonna be a busy day. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, Panda, War Wagon, get up. Ah, Sharn. Sure to be Sharn. I see you hiding there. Thanks everybody for coming in. And my, who was my new viewer? Sean of the Dead 2323. Thank you very very much for your follow and uh, hopefully I'll see y'all you know it's a Saturday night and it's Saturday night tomorrow I might I might come back and stream this even though I'll have work the next day and I'll be knackered I'll be home earlier so I, I just want to finish this game not that I'm not, not enjoying it but I want to finish it so I can start Last of Us again gotta love Last of Us so as they say I am Audi 5000 I'll see you next time.